Hey everyone, Jody from Burdock Offer Adventures here. Today we're going to look at the American Adventure Lab Sleeper Keeper. It will allow us to mount our Gazelle T4 tent on top of our Trail Racks Riff Rack on the Ford Bronco. Stay tuned. The Adventure, uh, this is a tent holder basically. You'll notice that there's like some lips here that help hold them on, on each side. But you mount these on your roof rack. I'm sorry for the background noise there. Uh, you know, it comes with bolts and nuts here, but most people are going to have, if you have this kind of roof rack with the T slot, you're probably going to use, like I did, a quarter inch carriage bolt, probably about a maybe an inch, three quarter inch tall with a nut. All this should be stainless steel, so you don't want to have corrosion. You know, you do have to put this together, which I did already prior to this. So, you know, saw this on uh, Barry Bonds's Bronco Raptor, actually. You'll put one end of the tent up there and the other end down here. Now, I did space these out quite a bit because if you see that tent bag, it's pretty damn long. And then you got some ratchet straps that you run under here. And we'll do this before we lay the tent on it. You don't necessarily have to, but it's probably advisable. And run it up and you'll run up the other side. So the ratchet straps going over either side, over the bag, strap the bag down. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put a cable and a lock as well, just to be on the safe side. Oops, just to be on the safe side. Uh, you know, just that way nobody tries to steal your shit. All right, so here's our Gazelle T4 tent. As most of y'all have seen, uh, probably if you followed our channel for a while, we do have a video of our first time opening this up. Uh, real quick and easy, very, very easy tent to open. About 90 seconds if you've done it before. Uh, some of the things to note though, the bag, at the time when I ordered this one, the Overland Edition had been uh, a lot perpetual back order. And at the time, I didn't necessarily think I needed it because I didn't see a whole lot of differences. I have since found out that that edition does have uh, different features, so to speak, uh, that help with waterproofing. So with us be going to be mounting this on top of the truck, you know, uh, we figured it would be a good idea to maybe try to get that. I didn't want to buy a whole new tent. I mean, I just don't usually have $400 laying around at all times just to use on tents. So instead of buying a whole new tent, I thought about, well, the biggest thing I'm worried about as far as waterproofing is the bag. So you can go on Amazon and you can get the bag for the Overland version. Notice the difference in color. So uh, this is kind of, it's the same thing basically. The only differences are it doesn't have these hooks here, which I, I was kind of disappointed because I was hoping to use these hooks uh, to run the ratchets through, but I guess if you got them strapped down hard enough, it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, this one does have uh, a pocket here for you to put your uh, spikes in. So other than that, it's the exact same size. There's not much difference. So we're going to transfer the everything in here into this bag, which it should fit just perfectly. And then we'll be ready to mount this thing. And then we won't have to worry about when we're driving down the road and the rainstorm comes about it, the inside's getting all wet and damaged and mildewy. So we'll have that taken care of as well. So our game plan, since we don't have an RTT uh, and we don't have immediate plans to get one, but that may change in the fall, especially with the two large dogs. We're just not going to be able to have that opportunity. Uh, you know, for I can't lift an 80 pound dog up on the, on the rooftop tent. So as long as Witten's with us, we'll probably stick to the ground tents. So uh, we want to make sure we use this effectively because when we get to Arizona, tell you what, we're probably going to be camping a lot more than we are in Illinois. So anyway, just want to show this to you guys real quick. We'll get this, everything switched over and then we'll be ready to go. All right, so we got everything transferred over. Actually, this bag is more roomy than the other one. I'm sure maybe a reason for that, but this actually fit in this thing very, very easily. Not that the other one was bad, uh but kind of surprised so it fit in really easily like i said we got our shoulder strap here we got these two uh, straps here just kind of keep everything all down one, uh, one of the things that we did notice in this is that there's a flap uh here that covers the zipper so that should help it stay dry whereas the other bag the zipper was completely exposed 
This has a little flap here. I don't know if you can see it, but here's the zipper. This flap lays over it all the way from top to bottom. And I said you have a pocket for your tent stakes right here. So that's a nice addition. Uh, like I said, these are only for the overland. It doesn't come with these loops over here, but I think, like I said, if you can ratchet it down pretty tight, you shouldn't have any issues with it falling over. If you're really worried about it, you could try to position one of your ratchets inside this loop just to catch. I don't think that's going to be an issue. But anyway, so we're ready to mount this thing on top of the truck in our new uh, sleeper creeper from American Adventure Labs. And we're ready to go to some camping, guys. It's awesome. So here's that flap I'm telling you about, the zipper. It goes all the way down to the very bottom here. Covers it all the way up to the top. So here's that little area, the Velcro, so you can get the tent sticks in. So we throw all that stuff in there amongst the other stuff. Like I said, this thing looks pretty big, pretty big and loose. So no worries about getting everything to fit. Zipper right down. So with the zipper being all the way down on this end, this will be placed towards the rear of the truck. And that end will be facing towards the front of the truck. That way, when you're going down the road and it's raining, the rain's going to fly off this end as opposed to beating into it like the other side is. Because the zipper doesn't go all the way up, it stops right here. And you have a pretty solid front end to take the brunt of all that rain. So, yeah. Good to go. All right, so I'm going to feed this thing through. This little strap in that came with it. Just kind of lay it off to the side here for just a moment. And the same thing in the back. Strap that comes with it. So I'm going to wind it. And we're just going to feed this into the back part. All right, now some people may try to choose to use their own ratchet straps, and that's perfectly fine. These are just the ones that came with it. And they don't actually ratchet, but they do sink on there pretty good. So you're just going to push the tent over here inside these two grooves. And then you will take and feed these cords. I'm sorry, these uh, straps. And I want to feed mine inside this big strap just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Not that I have a feeling that it will, but you never can tell. So, we sink that down pretty good. You got it good and tight. Make sure that's not going anywhere. And then you can take your rubber band kind of sink this back up here just like it was just kind of show it in there take it in there then we'll do the back and then we'll be done Yeah, this thing ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. Got a rooftop tent. Peace. All right, here's the top tent on it. So you guys can see. And just FYI, we got a Rome box that's going to mount right here. So this thing's going to be kind of sandwiched between the awning and the Rome box. So... Hoping that'll deter people from trying to mess with it. The Rome box will obviously be locked. We'll put a cable around this thing just to make sure that uh, people don't mess with it either. But uh, this is a pretty cool addition. So anyway, want to show it to y'all? Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Got a lot more stuff to come.